Do you think it's a little unfair that Aqua has been called in before the commission when all the other companies are also dealing with drought, also cutting back on water usage? As I expressed, uh, one of our, our concerns is that uh, a lot of other communities and uh, water utilities are having cutbacks uh, throughout Indiana because of the drought. And we feel that we've done the appropriate uh, restrictions and responses and uh, feel a little bit like we're being singled out uh, as compared to some of the other systems. To play devil's advocate, the other systems hadn't had to tap into another system to survive it either. That's correct. And, and we did that as, at a stage we thought was appropriate and we're, we're fully comfortable with the commission doing the investigation and uh, feel we've responded to it. Do you think that you weren't prepared for the drought? the way it has been? I, I think that uh, it's an early drought, much like the 1988 drought. It happened earlier in the season. Most of the time, uh, peak demands are in July or August. This turned out to be a May and a June peak demand, and we're still going in, all, in July. So our, our experience was, you know, you're normally prepared for July and August. When it hits in May and June, it's a little unusual. Right. But even that being unusual, other city utilities have been able to get through that without needing help from outside sources. Do you think you, you know you needed more wells or better pumps to you know be able to have that pressure sustain? Our our system is one that's all served by wells, and what happens is after an extended period of time, the well yield begins to go down, and and so we haven't experienced this kind of lengthy uh, drawdown period before. And when it hit us this year, uh, we didn't have enough reserve capacity to be able to meet that, uh, that peak demand. Right. When the, the new test well goes into effect in around 30 days a month or so, that'll be another half a million gallons a day. That's correct. And that's more than what you're getting from the city now, but you're not prepared to turn off the city when that goes online. Why? We believe that it's a just a good public uh, approach to make sure that our customers have adequate water as this drought uh, continues. And even though the new well will provide us more than what the city is providing us, we think it's prudent to keep that connection a little bit longer. What's your reaction when you hear consumer complaints to the mayor and the mayor concerned that there are issues with quality and price? Well, clearly the price issue is one that, that we've heard a lot about. And as I'm, I noted in my comments today, uh, Aqua spent a bunch of money in the last few years to upgrade the system. We're at a point where we've spent our dollars on capital investments and the rates reflect those investments. Fort Wayne is only beginning to show rates that reflect their capital investment and they're here before the commission currently uh, for a 40 percent rate increase and they'll have additional rate increases on water and sewer in the future as they begin to replace their aging infrastructure. So while our rates are higher than the city rates currently, uh, over time the city rates are going to be much, much closer to ours as they make the investments that we've already made. Are you talking water and sewer or strictly water? Water and sewer both. Okay, but water to water, your water is higher than their water, Yes, right? it is. It okay. currently is, but uh, they will be going through something in the neighborhood of a 35 to 40 percent increase in the next three years, and that will bring them much closer to our, our current water rates.